My Black here with the final update for Double Diamond C, also known as PD, bred and owned by Lori Cameron. And uh, I've had the pleasure of riding and training and starting him a year ago and up into this um, young event horse uh, championships at Fair Hill um, for the four year olds. So, um, Overall, PD did very well. Um, here's a little video of him um, in our last little jump school before we went to Fair Hill. So this was the beginning of October. And it's just been really fun to feel how far both of these boys have come. Um, really going into the championships, I was feeling like they were as prepared and as confident and comfortable as they possibly could be. Um, so... Overall, it was just a really, really fun experience. Here's a little clip from around the barn. He is a master at unlocking his stall door. So you can see I have a double ended snap there. He's so cute. And then both of them, again, at Fair Hill Weekend, um, which uh, was their first away show. So here's PD in the dressage at the Fair Hill Championships. Um, both of them, again, if you've been watching these videos, have been have also participated in the in the four year futurity, um, which these vlogs are for. So it's been you know monthly vlogs of their progress over the last year, and this will be the final installment um, for both of them this weekend. So. Um, Here's PD's dressage test. Uh, he was very relaxed. He went in there, he did really all the things he was supposed to do and very comfortably and, you know, again, as, as well as, he was really as good as he could have been all weekend um, in all the phases for where, for where we're at. So I was very pleased with, um, with both the boys and, and PD um, was, uh, was f first after dressage um, in the overall in the four-year-old class and you can see here um, he just was very relaxed forward comfortable and uh, really he was just um, he's a pleasure to ride so you can see his walk trot and canter is just very rhythmical in a good balance he's quite a good balance for for a four-year-old um, he's a very adjustable and uphill canter, which makes it super easy to ride. And again, it was, it was a pretty windy, blustery day. You can hear there when I, I did turn the volume down a bit, but you can see, hear how windy it still was and probably see that in the background with the flags flying and everything. And, um... Really, both of them went in there and did, did really did as good of a job as they as they could have done. So, I was very um, very pleased with them and really felt like our work this year has um, led them to be start to become really successful little young event horses. So, it's been really, really just um, a pleasure to ride and train them. And uh, they're both on holiday right now after Fair Hill, um, but I look forward to getting them back out and uh, seeing what their five-year-old year will entail. On to the jumping morning. And again, the format for the four-year-old and five-year-old young event horses is 
about six or so show jumps and then uh, directly onto the cross country phase. So we're out in the backfield of um, Fair Hill for where they've always hold the horse trials. And this is the first few, um, first few jumps of Petey here. So um, overall, I was really, really pleased with him. They really could not have, uh, he really could not have been any better. He um, is just coming along really well. He's got his changes down pretty well now and um, jumped really confidently, really bravely. Um, you know, he's, he's come a long ways this year and uh, he was very comfortable with the height of the jumps and the complexity and really seems like he's ready to kind of do bigger and better things coming up um, next year. And that's one of the things you have to keep in mind with these horses, especially ones like Petey that are bred for this um, and have hopefully, I would say, had pretty good training from the start, um, is you don't want to do too much too soon with them because, again, they're, he's you know four years old, less than a year under saddle here, and um, really going around galloping and jumping all the things and all the things that we could have wanted to do with him at this point. And um, we do need to be a little bit careful uh, just for his longevity and well-being that uh, you don't do too much too soon. And um, so I really do try to balance um, balance what how much I do with them. Um, again, I, I do, you know, later on this summer, up until this competition, I really didn't do that much jumping with them. A lot of trail riding, a lot of hacking, um, just getting them out and, you know, doing things like that, but not as much with the um, drill, drilling <clears throat> with the jumping or the dressage, because again, I felt like they, they did their qualifier back in, was it the end of March maybe? Um, and they qualified for the Young Event Horse Championships. So they've done a, you know, and a beginner novice and a, I think Petey's done maybe two or three novices in between March um, and now, um, but really were, um, really, you know, wasn't exactly, it was definitely not a competition every month um, per se. And, you know, again, they are four-year-olds and we're looking, at least for myself, and I believe Lori Cameron, Petey's breeder as well, about these horses' future in this sport and developing them but without burning them out or having unnecessary um, issues along the way. So here's PD finishing up his gallop. <clears throat> and then this is actually just a little clip I thought I'd throw in there from one of um, PD's first few rides. Uh, almost a year ago now, I, I started him the beginning, or sorry, the end of November. Um, so this would have been the very end of November of 2018. Um, Tom Pearson down here at Mardanza helped me um, with his wonderful guidance and his experience over all the years. Uh, start both of these guys um, from the ground and from his wonderful horse, Casey, who you might have seen in some of the videos that I started with about a year ago. Um, so Petey did end up winning the Futurity, which was super exciting, and it was just overall a really lovely competition finishing up overall in second place.